Best Tablet for Photoshop For many years now, I have been using Adobe Photoshop to create designs. Choosing the best drawing tablet for Photoshop can speed up and revolutionize how you experience your overall graphic design using Adobe Photoshop. Unlike using a mouse or a touchpad, a tablet stylus gives a great natural pen-to-paper-like feel that will make your work comfortable and obviously come out great. However, choosing the best tablet in a field where many brands have come up is not easy, especially for beginners. Wacom is one of the most respected brands in the tablet industry. They have a wide range of tablets that you can use with Photoshop. From their line of tablets, the Wacom Cintiq 22 is my favorite for graphic design. It features a large display size and a nice full HD resolution that is perfect for digital art. The Wacom Cintiq 22 works with the Wacom Pro Pen 2, which is a professional-level pen. One downside of this tablet, however, is that it needs to be connected to a computer to be used. This is because, although it comes with a nice, large built-in screen, it lacks a computer to install the software. You will have to connect to a computer to use it. Just like any other large size tablet, you will have to buy a stand for a comfortable user experience. If you need a tablet that you can install software on and use without a computer, the Apple iPad Pro is your best pick. This tablet is currently the best on the market thanks to its powerful performance and top features. The screen on this tablet is smaller than the Wacom Cintiq 22, but it features a higher resolution and unique liquid retina display technology that makes it crisp and clear. High brightness levels will allow you to easily use this tablet in highlight environments, such as outdoors or in studio setups. Being a premium level tablet, however, makes this tablet pricey and not a budget option. Additionally, it does not come with a pen, and you will have to buy it separately, further increasing the price. The Apple iPad Pro is compatible with the Apple Pencil 2, which, like the Wacom Pro Pen 2, is an industry standard and one of the best you can buy. Overall, this is a premium multipurpose tablet that will surely give you value for money. It has its fair share of shortcomings, among them being that it runs on an iOS system, which is a little complicated for beginners. XP Pen Artist Pro Wacom Cintiq 22 is a great professional-level graphic tablet. It is, therefore, premium priced and a little expensive. If you still need a large screen but are on a budget, then the XP Pen Artist Pro is your best alternative. It comes with a 21.5 inches screen size and full HD 1920x1080 pixels display resolution, similar to the more expensive Cintiq 22. Additionally, the pen is very similar, with both coming with plus minus 60 tilt recognition and 8192 pen pressure levels. The pen is also battery free, so you will not have to keep charging. Just like the Wacom Cintiq 22, this tablet must be connected to a computer to use, and you will need to install Photoshop on your laptop or desktop computer. Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra An Android tablet easily overcomes the price and complicated system found on the iPad. It also works independently of a computer, unlike the Wacom Cintiq 22. The new Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra is the best Android tablet for Photoshop. After years of trial and error searching for the best iPad Pro alternative, finally here is one with massive potential. A larger AMOLED screen and high resolution set this tablet apart from the bunch. It comes with a 14.6 inches screen, slightly larger than the iPad Pro at 12.9 inches. The resolution is lower and less clear than the iPad, but it is still perfect for all your needs in Adobe Photoshop. It features lower brightness levels compared to the iPad but will still work perfectly in a fair amount of highlight conditions. RAM and processors match up for fast, lag-free usage even when multitasking. Although it is a premium-level multipurpose tablet, its features and prices are fairly balanced, especially considering that it comes with the professional Samsung S Pen. The Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra is a standalone tablet that allows you to install Photoshop directly without using a computer or laptop. A tablet with a computer and a screen is perfect for photo editors. The two mentioned in this review, the Apple iPad Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra, are premium and expensive. If you need a budget-friendly, cheap standalone tablet, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite is the best pick. It is made with the same technology as the S8 Ultra and even comes with exactly the same S Pen, only at a lower price. You will, however, forego the large screen and resolution because it comes with only a 10.4 inches screen and a 120x2000 pixel resolution. Although the screen will still work perfectly, this tablet is slower than the more powerful S8 Ultra and iPad Pro because of its low 4GB of RAM and weaker Exynos 9611 processor. Despite the above shortcomings, it will still run Photoshop perfectly without problems. Zense Labs Pen Tablet Medium and Wacom and Chuos are the cheapest tablets for Photoshop. Wacom and Chuos Small is the smallest tablet for Adobe Photoshop that you can buy. The reason this tablet is very small and cheap is that it does not come with either a screen or a computer to install software. It is totally dependent on your computer for both a screen and space to store software. A 7 inches working area with no screen but a sensitive area. And pressure levels at 4096. Wired connectivity. The Zensilabs is a budget-friendly tablet that can be used for Photoshop work. Just like the Wacom Cintiq 22 and XP Pen Artist Pro, the Zensilabs Pen tablet comes with a screen but no computer. 
To use Adobe Photoshop, you must first connect to a computer. The screen is slightly smaller at 13 inches, almost the same size as the Apple iPad Pro at 12.9 inches. Zense Labs Pen Tablet Medium features include a 13 inches screen size, battery free stylus with tilt recognition at plus minus 60, pen pressure levels at 